actually be converted into a form of energy. Good day, everyone. My name is Fatima Ibrahim, and with me is and today we're going to be presenting our group project called the Biodigester. Now, this has to do with goal seven of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which is affordable and clean energy. It also has to do with the theme for this year's business essay for efficient. Innovation for sustainability. The first PVC pipe is used to remove excess dung, which in this case is our waste. And the second PVC pipe, with the help of a funnel, is used to insert the dung into the digestive system. How does it work, you may ask? Microorganisms like fungi digest and produce a flammable gas called methane with a chemical compound of CH4. When this gas gathers at the brim of the bottle, it goes through the tubes and the balloon starts to inflate. That means that the fermentation process is done. When the balloon inflates, pressure is applied and then it goes through the tube, lighting up the Bunsen burner. The leftover product inside the biodigester is called digestate. Digestate can also be used as an organic fertilizer. So the, bi so the biodigester is not only used as an energy source, but it can also be used as an organic fertilizer. Biogas, the biogas is a cheaper and cleaner alternative to fossil fuel. In order to use fossil fuels, it needs to be burned. And once burnt, releases a gas called carbon dioxide. It may also release many greenhouse gases like sulfur dioxide, which deplete the ozone layer. You see, the biodigester is a much better alternative because it produces cleaner, more affordable, and renewable energy. It also encourages people to recycle because it only uses organic waste, which is produced daily. Now, we always learn to channel our creativity into problem solving. That's why we've been able to identify some of the global environment problems we're having, and we have been able to find a solution to cater to some of these problems. Now, over here, what we have is a water well. And basically what it does is that you're going to pour water into this top container. And then because of these straws that are here, it's going to flow down into this container. And there is air inside the container, which is trapped here. So it pushes the water out and the pressure makes it come down from here. And if set properly, it will make the turbine spin, which can be used to generate electricity.